Hello YouTube, this is Charlie426 and today we have the review of the gun high grade Gundam Age 2 Normal. This was seen in the second arc of Gundam Age series and currently as I'm trying to do something different. Usually if it's a Wave Rider transforming mo mobile suit, I would usually start with the mobile suit and then at the end would transform it. However, I realize that if I do that, it takes a lot of time and I don't want that to happen. So I'm trying to do it in the opposite order to save time because I know what to do in order to change it back. Now, let's get on to the review. First, what you get, of course, is the Gundam H2 itself. You get a beam rifle or the dot rifle, hyper dots rifle. You get a shield. You get some extra poly caps left. And you have some additional hands, one being a open hand for the left hand, and uh, let me get that again. Just a single open hand for the left, and another hand for the left, which is just a fist, which is not too common. It's not a really common thing you see with the Gundam Age kits, I think. Um, you get two beam saber hilts and two beam saber effects. Now, the beam saber can, sabers can be stored in on onto the mobile suit itself which I will show you guys later and let's see you have this piece which is uh, important for the transformation and you get a number of stickers now I, as you can see I used almost everything except for these two black ones uh, these circle ones are not really meant for the kit this was just a, uh, a filler of a sticker alright so let's get on to the review now this is its wave rider mode um, some people don't like it, some people do. I think they did a pretty good job on uh, on for the high grade as well. I mean, sure, of course, the master grade would have like a connection between the hands and the legs, which I try to follow. But it, it, if you know how to like angle them, they they did a pretty good job on it. And technically, you can attach the shield onto it if you change this part, you twist it. Um, I didn't do that just because I didn't really feel like it. And it, even though the shield was here, it wouldn't be really that look good looking. Okay, um, as you can see, this kit also comes with its own action base, this white action base. Okay, so there's not much we can do with the wave rider mode. I just want to show you guys how it looks like. So let's get on to the transformation. Let me just pull this off first, just in case. Come on, okay. Um, one thing to notice is that I believe on the bottom of the trans um, action base, you can attach the additional hands if you wish to do so. I'm just gonna show you guys here. And also there is one more piece, but I sort of lost it. The piece that, I'm, that I've lost is, this is the part where the legs connect, and there's another hole below that. This is where the action base connects. There's another cover piece for th that hole. However, I dropped it and lost it, so too bad. Which I really don't care because I barely see it. First, I guess you should take off the beam rifle just to make sure. And then you should, det you have to detach a lot of stuff. You have to detach the legs. So let me wiggle it out. And of course, I can technically take off the arms to make it, easy, to make it look easy, but it's not really that necessary. What I'm gonna do is first deal with the main body. First, oh, okay. I'm gonna fold these. I'm gonna fold these wings back. For now, and then, okay, I'm gonna twist the arms like that, and then send these back to the other way down. Other way. Come on. Yeah. Um. These wings might get in the way a lot and then it's very simple you just need to twist it like this 90 degrees and then push it now as you can see there's a small gap between the hips if you see the upper section of the waist it's like there's something popped out you just need to push it back in there we go and on the process the head will pop out let me show you guys that again now it's gonna be like this and if you push it back in oh be careful not to break anything it will the head will pop out and there you go you have the arms and other parts ready 
Now, I believe these are also weapons. These are like also beam uh, guns or magnums, I believe, where it shoots beam weapons like machine guns. Now for the shoulders, yeah, maybe I should have took off the arms. You want to twist them up 90 degrees. Also, these parts are the stickers. These, the middle hole section was the leftover stickers, which you don't really use. Okay, I, I think I should take off the arm because it's kind of getting, because some parts are actually blocking. So for the arms, you want to twist the shoulder part 90 degrees, and then you just want to now adjust the wings like that. Of course, um, you need to, it's going to be like this, you need to fold it back in like that. And we do the same thing for the other arm. Yeah, um... Uh, this is the, like this is one of the downsides for reviewing a transforming mobile suit because you have to show like the transformation and if you don't do it sometimes it could be awkward while doing this and then you just need to reattach the arms for now and then for the legs the legs are your typical wave rider-ish legs where you twist you fold it two times you just need to straighten it up and then the feet like that you have the leg, nothing too sim nothing too difficult. Some people uh, always he hesitate to buy Wave Rider transforming mobile suits, but it's not too bad. I mean, it's parts former, sure, but uh, it's not really that terrible. Now you have this part here, and I believe this is the part where you at attach the legs, and then lastly, you just need to plug it into the down section over there. And there you go, we have the Gundam Age to normal. Now despite its look, I thought it would be it would have like balance issues, but it's not too terrible. I mean, if you can balance if you position the wings and feed properly, it won't have much balance issues. Okay, I will now get into the articulations now. Sorry for the messy startup. Now let's start with the head. Now most a lot the head does take in a little bit of stickers than I thought. Usually, if we see a Gundam head, it would the stickers that you would have to expect commonly would be the eyes, the head camera, and back camera, which is true as well. You have the eyes as a sticker. You have the back camera, which is right over here, and then there's a front camera right here. And these two sections on the head, the green sections here, or green and dark greenish, these are also stickers. Uh, it was kind of I was it was kind of unexpected, but uh, not too bad. I mean, this would have been fixed if they used a clear part, which the Master Grade did, I believe. So, yeah, I guess the Master Grade is the superior version. The head does have a lot of movement. It can go down that much, which is a lot. You can go up that much, and then 360 twist, um, no problem at all. The neck joint is the polycap neck joint that we commonly see in polycaps. Now the chest, the age symbol is a sticker, which when I first bought I, uh, the Gundam Age 3 normal, I was kind of really surprised to see it as a sticker, but I guess it, for high grade, it's pretty common. The body itself, there's not much movement going on on the body itself because of the transformation, so nothing too special. 360 twisting, um, yeah, it's possible, surprisingly actually. Now we will look at the arms. Now, when I was first building these, I thought these wings would be a, a little bit of hindrance when it comes to articulation, but they don't really hinder the arms that much. Okay, first the arms, they have a double joint. Hope I can, you can see that. So, no, pretty good articulation. And age kits, they, most age kits have great articulation, to be honest, even qualities of the kit itself. The arms can go about outwards 90 degrees. Hope you guys can see that because the wing is kind of blocking the way. And then, come on, okay. The arms can go 360 despite those wings. The wings are all are connected on a peg right here that's coming out from the shoulder, which is also connected to a polycap. And the wings itself do have a little bit, they can move around a little bit. Yeah, about, yeah, I guess about a total of, hmm. Yeah, they can go like 90 degrees bend almost each side and the shoulder these blue parts itself is connected to a peg on top of the 
I mean, into a, yeah, a round peg on top of the shoulder. The arms also have your typical twisting action, 360 twist, and then normal ball jointed hands. The hand, I don't know, it, it, it could be just me, but the hands for the age kits, they do look a little bit smaller than usual. Now for the waist section. The waist section, the front skirt arm can be separated if you wish, but I usually don't do that. And it can go up 90 degrees out front. The side skirt, thanks to the transformation gimmicks and stuff, it can go about 90 degrees out, If you, I mean to the sideways. The legs can go about 90 degrees up front, has a double joint as you can see and has the side swivel so you can twist it a little bit and then 90 degrees to the side very good articulation and feet are just normal ball joints so your typical ball jointed feet yeah okay um, for stickers I think that's all these the, the main age symbol and the head oh and the shoulder where we saw the guns and lastly would be these parts if you can see these black sections those are supposed to be stickers I went ahead just to color them black because I don't think we really need stickers for that I mean come on anything else I was expecting some yellow stickers however there is no yellow stickers which I have to say this again age kids does have good quality when I mean good quality they have good color separation and articulation and quality oh yes Okay, we saw the basic um, articulation. Now we'll let's look at this equipment. First one, the equipments are we are going to look at the beam sabers. Yeah, the beam sabers can be ho hold in the back waist armor, which can move a little, could move quite a lot. I mean, because it's connected to a poly cabin peg system, and then you can take these out, and then let's store it, attach it to the hand. The beam saber effect. It's the beam saber effects are your usual age flat beam sabers and then you can just attach the hand with no, no problem at all it will hold it and then won't drop it okay um, I'm gonna take a look at the shield now the shield is pretty simple I think this is even smaller than the clan shades shield the shield has this peg going on which can move or rotate actually can rotate 360 and then the way how you attach it is the usual uh, interesting way of how we usually see in age kits now you take the this part off which is on the arm you twist it you take it out twist it 90 degrees and reattach it reattach the hand if you can do it you can have it with the hand on if you wish to do that process and then we have this hole here a little bit a holeish part and when we attach the peg and there we go we have the shield connected once again um, the shield holds in pretty well it's not very loose depending on how you look at it and now finally we have the beam I mean dots rifle yeah um, if you don't really balance it well it will t fall down time to time it really depends on how you balance or position the wings I think without the wings it won't have much pro problem and of course the feet are kind of small a little bit it's bigger than the Spalo's feet I think but yeah still has a little bit of issues the dots rifle or hyper dots rifle the handle is very short. I was kind of surprised to see the handle to be a little bit shortish style. But first of all, because of the transformation, we have to take this part off first, and then we have this part. We rotate it and sl slide it back in, actually. And there we have this thing coming out, which I still don't know under what this does. According to Prime 92, this actually helps. Uh, the kit to hold the beam rifle or slash dots rifles more uh, firm but I'm not really too sure but you attach the handle into the hand no trigger finger uh, is in the kit but oh boy uh oh okay and then once you attach the trigger finger right there I mean you ch attach the gun to the uh, hand you clamp it you, you clamp it down like that and it holds the rifle with no problem at all uh, I do. I am a big fan of this design as well. Of course, uh, in the series, I wish the Gundam Age 2's pilot wasn't too, you know, what. But I did enjoy the Gundam Age series, and hopefully, we will see more kits or especially mastery kits in the future. Okay. Uh, last thing you can do with the B, the dots rifle or hyper dots rifle is first let's re 
detach it because the way how it clamps in it has no issues like holding it or dropping it or wiggling so no need to worry about that what you can do is store it on to its waist armor actually um, I believe they tell you to you can attach it like this which I am not a big fan of because it looks very awkward or if you wish to do so I'm not sure if it's possible but you can do it something like this if you if you wish to do so well I guess that's it for the review for the Gundam high grade Gundam H2 normal now this kit is the build is pretty simple uh, I can recommend this to anybody, especially for beginners. I mean, sometimes Wave Rider or Transforming kits are not the best kits to rec recommend, but this one, it's not too bad. I mean, uh, despite being a parts former, it it only comes with this part, and you can actually transform it without using this. Um, so yeah, uh, sorry for the cut. It's almost been 60 minutes, but yeah. Um, despite being a tra parts former, it only comes with a small piece, unlike the Universal Century Wave Rider transforming suit, where you would get a whole hunk of block of a Wave Rider, and then you would detach every single part you can from the mobile suit, and then reattach that block. Whereas this one, you don't really need to do that. You just need to attach it to this to the kit itself, and then. Um, do the transformation so I can recommend this to anybody especially for beginners who wants to start with a high grade that can transform or any age fans out there I mean sure the anime wasn't too good to some people but considering it's its own century era and it has like its own storyline not connected to the universal century yada yada they did a pretty good job and their their kits are very amazing the quality is top notch and this was before the revive kits actually showed up so once again, uh, don't end underestimate them. If you can get one, it's worth it. Anyway, thank you for watching my review of the high gun high review of the high grade Gundam H2 normal. Uh, this kit actually made me kind of curious regarding the high grade Gundam H2 double bullet and its mass grade version. So I might actually try that soon. Anyway, if you found this review informative or interesting, please like my videos and also subscribe to my channel. I still have more kits to buy and build, so please stay tuned. Also, if you have any questions or requests, leave a comment below. If I also got anything wrong, leave a comment below as well. Anyway, until then, see you guys next time. <laughs>